Parshas Vayigash begins with the confrontation of Yehuda and Yosef. After the accusation that Binyamin had stolen the special goblet of Yosef's and Yehuda steps forward, advocates for Binyamin, advocates for Yaakov, Yosef is overwhelmed with emotion and he finally reveals his identity. And immediately when the brothers learn that Ani Yosef out of Ichai, I am Yosef, is my father still alive? They collapse, they faint, they lose consciousness because of the fact that this, the, the shock of everything and how it all came together, they just couldn't retain their uh, composure, so to speak, and they, they fainted. And Chazal tell us, or sages say, that Oy lonam yom hadin, oy lonam yom that woe is to us on the day of judgment, woe is to us on the day of rebuke, because if Yosef, by revealing his identity, caused his great brothers to faint. Imagine what's going to happen to us when Hashem, when God tells us all of the things we've done wrong over the years, all of the challenges and problems we had. When our day of reckoning comes, how can we possibly respond? And the question that Rav Chaim Shmulevitz asks about this madrash is as follows. Yosef never gave this, his brother uh, rebuke, his brother's rebuke. He simply revealed his identity. So how is it that we can say if Yosef rebuked his brothers and this is what happened, imagine when Hashem rebukes us, what's going to happen to us? But he never rebuked them. And so Rav Chaim says the following, that by, by the very fact that Yosef identified himself and it revealed the truth of the dreams that had caused all the problems in the first place, it revealed that Yosef was right and that Yosef was caring and that Yosef did all of the things for his brother's best interest, and they, on the other hand, had been self-centered and had been trying to justify their behaviors. And even though Yaakov was suffering for all of those years, never once did they say that they were wrong. Never once did they say that we should not have, they, they said they shouldn't have sold Yosef, but that they were wrong at the core, never. And so now that this revelation comes to be, that they realize that they've been living a lie for 22 years, that they've been putting their father through misery for all this time, it was too much to bear, and they collapsed. So we who've been living a life full of lies, full of deceit, full of um, trickery and, and, and lack of uh, uh, being, being uh, congruous, so to speak, with our inside or outside, what are we going to say when we come in front of God? How do we utilize our life? How do we utilize our time? It's a very sobering thought. We all have to be mindful of the fact that we are here for a purpose. Every day is an opportunity to live that mission, live that purpose. It's a big challenge and it's hard. It's hard to be consistent. It's hard to do the right thing all the time. There are many temptations, many, thing, many things pulling us in a different direction. But if in fact we can be mindful of the fact that there is a day of reckoning coming and there is a time that we're gonna to need to do good and who knows when that's gonna be and demonstrate that we really lived a life that was genuine, that was focused, that was positive and filled with good deeds, with Torah study, with mitzvot, with, with positive actions, all those things, then at least we have a chance. So hopefully we can learn from the rebuke of Yosef to his brothers and the fact that we will ultimately be rebuked as well, no matter how well we do, there are going to be things we don't do so well, but hopefully we will also have many positive things to put forth because we tried, we tried our best, to live a life of integrity, a life of service, and a life of purpose. Wishing you a wonderful Shabbos.